think it looks like normal water, right? But it's not normal water. Emma, what is this, huh? Cucumber water. Do you like it? <laughs> I don't. You don't? Are you sure? You want to give it another try? No. <laughs> You're watching Greg's Big Eats and we're here to try Golden Mouse Special Yong Tau Fu. Right over there, see? So what is Yong Tau Fu? It's basically bean curd and vegetable pieces stuffed with fish paste and eaten dry with noodles or with soup. Now, the style of Yong Tau Fu here is very special. It is a throwback to what Yong Tau Fu used to be like before factory-made supplies, MSG and shortcut soup stocks came into the picture. Okay, Golden Mouse Special Yong Tau Fu is a heritage hawker business which began in 1956 and they are one of the original hawkers at Golden Mao when it first opened in 1975. Run by the Cheng family and now in the hands of second generation owners, three sisters and one brother in their 50s and 60s, the entire operation is family run. Almost everything here is painstakingly handmade with no shortcuts or compromises. Plus they sell each piece for lower than what other Yotafu stalls sell them for. Come to the taste. Right, we have a bowl now and I've ordered everything except for a couple of items. Uh, let me think. I didn't order the ladies fingers, I didn't order the cuttlefish. Well, I can't think of anything, but uh, if I think of it, I'll let you know. Okay, they sell about 15 items, all mostly handmade on a daily basis. Now, the main thing to focus on is the fish paste, because the fish paste items and the fish balls, right? They're made daily with pure yellow tail or mackerel fish meat, and there are no additives or flour, and the texture comes out smooth, but with no processed texture. So let's try the coveted fish ball. I ordered two because the fish paste is just amazing. Right, wow. It's quite highly savory due to a high amount of salt being put inside. And that is somewhat a tradition from the old days. Because the more salt you put inside, right, it actually helps to keep the fish ball uh, fresh. Because otherwise it will turn bad. But the texture, it's got this in-between soft but firm texture which is pretty unreal. When you actually taste factory made fish balls, right, the texture is almost overly bouncy. Here it's more in-between, there's a certain softness in it. It's really good. Now for the soup. Don't drop the soup. Don't drop the soup. The soup is... Normal Yong Tafu soups are actually made using soybean and ikan bilis. You try ikan bilis. But here, the soup is actually made out of fish bones and the water used to cook the Yong Tafu items. And that makes up the soup base, predominantly speaking. So, the soup, lightly fragrant and stock rich. A certain stock fullness. It's not in your face, it's not how. There's a certain suppleness in the flavor and there's a certain depth in it. I don't know how to explain it, a certain roundness to it, but it's not heavy, it's actually quite light. And it's this delicate flavour, which is absolutely unreal. Next item, fish maw. Fish maw, spongy, soft, springy texture, but um, not too springy, not too firm. So as I said, Yong Tau Fu is about items which are actually stuffed. So you have like for example, here's a bitter gourd with some fish paste stuffed inside. And then you get the green chilli with lots of fish paste stuffed inside. And then you have the tofu puff with fish paste stuffed inside. And then you've got bean curd skin 
with fish paste in between. So Yong Tau Fu, a large part of it, is all about 101 ways to enjoy fish paste, okay? Bitter God with the fish paste. Fresh Bitter God, still crunchy with that bitter flavor, obviously. And the fish paste. Fried tofu skin. It's got a chewier texture, the oil rich from being fried. Dango vegetable. A bit slimy, a bit crunchier than normal. The bihun obviously. And bihun is bihun, it's basically rice with vermicelli. Made out of rice flour. Still nicely firm, great. Okay, the only staple they offer is bihun. And they strongly feel that bihun is a staple which actually doesn't interfere with the taste of the soup. The other old school novelty they do is that some of the items, the boiled items, like the stuffed out pork, the fish balls and the fish ball, actually left simmering in a giant vat of the soup base. So customers can actually pick them out and then, then put it into the bowl. Now for the all important tofu. Mmm, okay. Soft with a bit of firmness, very slight, and the texture is unreal. The reason why I'm actually very quiet is because I'm actually scrutinizing the tofu. Because out of all the ingredients, right, the soft tofu is the one ingredient where it can dramatically fail. Because there's absolutely no preservatives inside. So you'll know when they've kept it overnight or not, because it'll taste a little sour. This one has got absolutely no sourness inside, which is great. Now, then we've got these two sauces. There's the black hoisin sauce type thing. Okay, and there's the chili over there, see? And what is black hoisin sauce? Soya bean, red chilies, garlic, fennel seeds, vinegar, Chinese spice, spice powder and sugar. It's generally a sweet bean sauce or so. If you want to flavor your yong tau pieces with a sweet sauce, that's what you have. There's the chili at the side over there. Gritty chili, gritty chili sauce, sour. But it's not a fresh sourness, it's more of a vinegar type sourness and it's moderately spicy. So you have sweet and sour, which you mix together, you have a sweet and sour effect. Maybe add a bit more chili lah. Huh? Now I don't actually tend to like the sauces with my yong tau I do have it, but I don't really have it with a lot of sauce lah. I basically dip into it once in a while to sort of vary it up a bit. But generally I don't actually take a lot of sauce. And why? The reason is because I feel that the sauces actually interfere with the taste of the fish cake and the soup and everything else. So I actually prefer a little bit more plain and I actually enjoy the soup as it is. But when it comes to what I call a cheap Yong Tau Fu place, right, I tend to add a lot of sauce so that it covers the fact that it is very very bad. But I know people who actually eat Yong Tau Fu because they just love the sauce, the hoisin sauce and the chili lah obviously. Fried, very heavy soybean flavor. It's almost like fried soybean skin, but the flavor is sort of like times 100. It's a really intense flavor. Oh, green chili, the fish paste, and some sauce. Again, the texture of the fish paste, completely unreal, amazing. The fried wonton, I forgot to talk about this one. Wow, check out the inside. Generous amounts of flavoured minced meat inside. Normally, they've economised it so much to the point that you literally get like half a thumbful of minced meat and that's it. So, um, it is actually worth coming here just for the fried wonton skin. Two thumbs up here. Oh, and also, try and uh, turn up early. They only open at 10.30, but try and get here earlier because they've been known to actually open um, as early as 9.30, as soon as they are ready. When you actually do open early, right, sometimes you do have like the special items on offer, like for example, the fried fish roll or the pig's intestines, you know, but they are quickly snapped up by regulars, obviously. During peak times, the queue can stretch on to about 20 minutes or so. Soup is so good. I'm going to take the whole thing, the whole bowl. 
right there. All finished. So that was an uh, introduction to Golden Mao Special Yong Tau Fu. Probably one of the last few old school Yong Tau Fu stalls around in Singapore. Uh, everything is handmade, which is great. The soup is fantastic. It is definitely one of the best Yong Tau Fu stalls I can think of in Singapore. If you know of another old school Yong Tau Fu stall, just like this one, please hit me up in the comment section below. I would love to know. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching another episode of Crispy Eats by Eating Home of Singapore. If you like this content, give a like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.